What's up guys, Michael and Lee from Forever Set a Company here. Hey guys, today we've designed a 10 minute quick hit circuit to burn off all that junk food you've been eating at home. Woo wee! So I will be doing the modified version, Lee will be doing the full version. So let's get right into the workout, the moves will be on the screen and let's go! So here I'm performing reverse lunges, the regular version, I'm keeping my chest up and my back straight as I bend my knee down to the floor. For the scissor lunge, you want to keep your legs hip width apart. You want to first start with a reverse lunge, then jump and switch legs in between, trying to land with your knee close to the ground. All right, over here I'm performing burpees, the regular version. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep your hands open and your palms flat as you place your hands towards the floor. You're gonna jump down into a nice straight position while keeping your chest up. For the advanced burpee, you're gonna wanna explode up in the jump, jumping up, keeping your chest up as you approach the ground and belly to the ground nice and soft. Here I'm performing regular inchworms, I'm bending at the hips, keeping my palms open as I walk down into a high plank and walk myself back up. For the advanced version, we've included the shoulder tap at the bottom of the inchworm. With the shoulder tap, you're going to want to keep your hips down and you're going to want to tap your shoulder and then just come right back up from the inchworm. Feel free to vary your foot position here like we did. So here I'm performing squats. You're gonna to wanna to keep your chest up as you sink through the heels, trying to get your hips below the knees. You wanna be nice and explosive as you try to stand all the way up. For the pop squat, you wanna get nice and low. You wanna go more than hip width apart and you wanna be on the toes when you return to the middle position. I'm performing the downward dog. You can start in a high plank and then walk yourself up as far as you feel comfortable, hips to the sky. You're gonna keep your elbows and knees soft here as you lock out the shoulders and you're gonna keep your eyes between the knees. For the downward dog to the push-up, you're gonna continue doing what, exactly what Michael said, then go right into a push-up. You wanna squeeze your core and engage it through the whole movement.
we're going here into the second round. I was already sweating by this point. I think I was just trying to make sure I was keeping my form nice and tight for round two. Here on round two, 15 seconds in, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Yes, I hear the time. Then I look over at Michael and I'm like, shit, I have 15 seconds to go. Keep going, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> What? Okay, I can't even lie. You might see my face here. I was very scared that the right side of my head was going to go right to the ceiling um, and I was very worried on each and every single rep here. That's really all I was thinking about to do every burpee I did in this workout. For me, I love burpees so that's something for you guys to know so at this point I'm like yes, let's get it, I'm enjoying this. So I have a love and hate relationship with inchworms. When my body's feeling nice and loose like it is in this video, I love them. But when I'm feeling stiff and immobile, when, maybe when I'm not stretching enough, I hate them. For me, I love inchworms. I don't enjoy the shoulder tap at the end though because it makes my shoulders on fire. I was feeling nice and mobile in this workout so I was really hitting the depth on my squats and I was actually feeling fantastic as I hit them here. Michael was saying wow ooh wee this is easy and I was looking at him like yeah because you're doing the well the beginner version and I'm doing the advanced so the, so the pop squats for me right now I was definitely feeling Once again, in this movement, I can really feel that the rolling and stretching I've been doing lately is paying off because uh, I was able to get a little higher than I normally am, which is progress, and that's what we strive for. Progress over perfection. For me, I'm enjoying the downward dog to the push-up. It really opens up my shoulders and back, and I just love this move. So at this point, I'm thinking, wow, we're almost done. This is exciting. It was a pleasure voicing over this workout for you guys. If we can get Team FA to 200 subscribers, we're gonna release a seven day workout challenge. We did it, it's victory time. It's victory time. We're killing the game. Time. We shut it off all the cupcakes. We're Ooh. good. Oh man. Oh hey, if you just did this workout with us, you should be sweating it up. If you're saving this workout for later, make sure to come back to the page and comment. 
All right, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're looking for workouts, recipes, and pain relief videos. We'll see you next time.